Tell me from your own hearts, what is beautiful about religion to you? You know, we've always used the metaphor that religion is like a cup. It is a container. And the water inside is the spiritual message. The message of every religion is exquisitely beautiful, but it needs that structure, it needs that container to hold it. The problem is that we spend much of our time, much of our energy, just polishing the outside of the cup, but not doing very much about the spiritual water. The beauty of religion is the potential it has to be a, an effective bearer of spiritual teachings. In the, in the case of our religious institutions, the purpose is to lead us to a, a greater possibilities for healing by bringing us together, helping us to learn to cooperate, to recognize the oneness uh, that brings us together and that affirms our own worth in ways that money power and other things can't even approach. I think community is a basic human need. And our religious institution ideally gives us a way to focus community in holy ways, to help each other open our hearts, to help each other open our hands to those who are in need. You know, the ideals are precious and very beautiful. The word God for us, for so many of us, I think still points to something that we develop as children. That it's a being out there that actually has the potential, instead of saying yes, to say no, to punish us. So I think the challenge is for us to understand the word God as something that is evolving, that is awakening in us, that is saying yes because we need the encouragement to grow and use spiritual practices. Uh, for me, uh, my sense of God ha has really come from this practice since childhood on meditating on verses of the Quran. The verse that really, you might say, splashes in my heart is something called Hadith Qudsi. It's a verse that came to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, in a dream. And the words of God are like this. God says to humanity, O oh, beloved one, I cannot be contained in the space of the earth. I cannot be contained in the space of the heavens, but I can be contained in the space of the pure, loving heart of my servant. So that is explosive, that divine heart is in human heart. And between human heart and divine heart just lie levels upon levels upon levels of self-realization. As our consciousness evolves, we begin to understand that God is the whole thing. There's a line in Deuteronomy that says, the absolute transcendent one awakens within each one of us. And that's all there is. There is nothing else except for that presence, except for that being, except for that energy. We are that energy made manifest on this planet with the consciousness we carry. So that these are the hands of God, and this is the mouth of God, and these we all are wearing the face of God. And our task is to translate the incredible compassion and love of the universe to support each other, to support our planet, to grow ourselves.